Good evening from Bangkok, Thailand. In the heart of the city, this is the Erawan Shrine, sadly made famous by a terrorist attack last year. It was famous before, but it gained international attention because of uh, that horrific act. 20 people died here, 100, over 120 injured. But we're here for celebrations tonight. Thanks for joining me here in Bangkok at the Erwin Shrine. This is a Hindu shrine, but it is also revered by Buddhists, as you can see. It is the four-headed Brahma God. And thanks for joining me here. Give me a shout out where you are in the world. Would love to say hi to you. John Sabo, Far East Adventure Travel in Bangkok. This is one of the most vibrant spots in all of Southeast Asia. It is incredibly hectic here. Uh, it, it, this is a huge, in this area, hello Philadelphia. This is a massive uh, commercial area. Hey Germany, how are you? Uh, thanks so much. Give me a shout out where you are. This is a massive commercial area. And it's a very inspiring uh, 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 shrine as well. Hey Italy, thanks for joining me here in the heart of Bangkok, Thailand. So last August, this is the uh, site. Hey, Wisconsin, how are you? Uh, this is the this was the site. Uh, you, you you know it was all over the news uh, internationally for days. The the, the terrorist attack here at the Erwin Ar Ar uh, Shrine here in the heart of Bangkok. Malmo, Sweden. Hello. Hey, bonjour, Ohio. It's a beautiful shrine. It's a, a very amidst the commercial district here and the bustle of Bangkok. It's absolutely amazing inspiring and and Buddhists this is a Hindu shrine but Buddhists give it just as much uh, significance and come here to pray as well uh, many uh, Hindu gods are shared by Buddhists as well and vice versa and this is absolutely I have to tell you an absolutely oh thank you so much thank you Yes, uh, lots of garlands here. You can buy garlands for offerings. Uh, oh, I'll be back in Nepal. Don't worry. Thank you, though. I really appreciate that. Um, I want to take you over and show you some of the traditional uh, Thai dancers here. This is really beautiful, actually. No, I think they're just here to pray. No tips necessary. Ciao. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me here in Bangkok, Thailand. This is uh, at the Erwin Shrine in the heart of Bangkok.
I'm abs absolutely amazed that uh, with the amount of development commercialism uh, in, in Bangkok that you can still come to places like this in the heart of a shopping district and experience uh, the real heart of a culture and it's very, very impressive. But I have to tell you, uh, the, the traffic here is absolutely insane. I took a cab from where I'm staying and I'm maybe about a 20 minute walk from the uh, Royal Palace where I'm staying right now and I took a cab. It took me about 45 minutes, almost an hour to get here by cab. It should have been 15 minutes. Uh, Bangkok has uh, some of the worst traffic, I think, in all of Asia. And they have a serious uh, problem here. They're trying to solve it with more public transit, uh, particularly their subway and, and SkyTrain MRT lines. But they need a lot more work uh, to, uh, to get it up to handle the capacity because this is a massive, massive place, I have to tell you. Um, and you can see, I mean, the, the amount of uh, commercial development here is unbelievable and um, they, they just do not have the infrastructure to support the amount of people that are coming and going out of here. Bangkok is the number two most visited city in the world. I don't know if you know that. Um, and it, I mean, it's eight million people just in the center of town here. And. Uh, you know, this was the site of, of the uh, terrible uh, terrorist act last year, and uh, there are signs everywhere around here of security, extra security. And you can hear the sirens. I mean, it's a very, very busy place. Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you, I, I could spend a lot more time here. I'm just here for five days. I wish I was here for five weeks because uh, it, it is uh, absolutely an amazing city uh, here in Asia and uh, Southeast Asia. And there's just so many layers that I've, I've found already. And there's, uh, I mean, I'm very impressed that there's still lots of traditional buildings around. Uh, there's, I mean, it's it just from uh, this shrine and the many temples, the culture is very strong here, uh, even though there is a, a, I mean, this is one of the most modern cities in Asia, uh, but culture and uh, spirituality is still very strong in this uh, country, and some more of the traditional dancers. I was in Chiang Mai, uh, yes I was last week, I was in Chiang Mai for a week. And by all means, uh, share with your uh, followers, uh, just swipe the screen left to right on iOS or up on Android, or hit the little figure in the corner there, bottom right corner, and that would be really cool. I'm so happy. Yes, I was in Chiang Mai. Yes, I do have a, a Weibo account. Yes, I do. Um, it's just Far East Adventure. Chiang Mai, Pai, and Bangkok. Well, I didn't make it to Pai. Um, I was in Chiang Rai uh, for five days, and I went up to Mae Salong as well. And I'm going to feature all of this stuff on my podcast, uh, Far East Adventure Travel. So it'll take me uh, uh, weeks to get it all up, but I'm working on a piece on Mae Salong right now which is a very interesting uh, village up in uh, the highlands of uh, northern uh, uh, Thailand. Cool, well, let's connect on Weibo. Um, I'm, well, I'm in Asia, uh, I live in Asia, but I'm in uh, Bangkok until Saturday. I know, well, I'll, I'll make it up there next time I, I get this way. I just didn't have enough time to be in Thailand, unfortunately. Thanks for the hearts, really appreciate it. This is at the Arrow and Shrine, uh, Taipei at the moment. Well, thank you so much, and um, 
As you can see, this is the uh, arrow and shrine, the four-headed Brahma. And, and, and uh, I'll tell you, there's there's not a lot of uh, uh, Brahma shrines. Uh, this is a very special shrine here, and it is revered by Buddhists because, I mean, primarily Thailand is a Buddhist country. I don't know. Uh, I mean, Hinduism was very strong uh, throughout Southeast Asia at, uh, at, at uh, you know many hundreds of years ago, um, but but of course. Buddhism is prevalent here. There's a small Muslim uh, com community here as well. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you so much, Germany. Thanks for joining me here. Yes, this was the uh, place that was bombed last August. No, this is the only shrine that I know of in this area. This is a huge, massive commercial district with uh, like malls, all kinds of malls and uh, entertainment, um, hotels. Uh, this is right next to the Grand uh, Hotel here, and uh, I mean, it's uh, th th this place is absolutely massive. And um, but I, I will tell you, getting down here was I don't know how I'm going to get back uh, where I'm staying right now. Um, but it's going to take time. It, 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 the traffic here is absolutely insane. It's uh, probably the most congested traffic in, in most of the Asian cities I visited in India and Nepal and uh, Japan and Korea. This is one of the uh, most congested uh, uh, places I've ever visited uh, in all of Asia. And this is where people um, uh, line up to get their garlands and, and make their offerings. And maybe I will do that later. And thank you so much for the hearts. Uh, I will be coming back. There is the, um, the sky train uh, that's uh, going above us right now. And I, I mean, they definitely need more of that uh, spread out throughout Bangkok because there's just not enough uh, infrastructure here right now to support the amount of people coming and going. But traffic, um, uh, how to, to taxis are still pretty reasonable in this in this town. Yeah, I'll be doing. That's all I do is Asia. So um, I I, uh, I do a uh, podcast called Far East Adventure Travel, an audio one and a video one. You can see those on iTunes or listen to them on iTunes, or go to my website fareastadventuretravel.com. I've been in. Uh, I'll be in Thailand just for a couple of weeks. Um, I'll, I'll be here till Saturday, and I'll be scoping uh, from now until then. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yes, this is Bangkok, the heart of Bangkok, the Arrow and Shrine. At the, uh, near the Siam um, MRT stop. Yes, I, I've been to Laos. I spent many weeks in Laos uh, a couple of years ago in Laos, uh, six weeks in Laos. I've been to uh, Luang Prabang and Vientiane and Bong Bien and Phong Sali. I haven't been to the ghost building, no. I will check it out though. And how, what did you think of Laos? I, I love Laos. Uh, Laos and Cambodia are wonderful countries to visit. Uh, they certainly need the help from tourists as well. Tubing in Laos, well, that's a classic. That's a classic thing to do. You're Laos, actually. Oh, that's very cool. You don't find the people friendly. Well, you know, it's interesting because uh, I've heard that comment before about Laos, but, you know, uh, Laotians are very reserved. And they, they're, they're not like, um, uh, they're, they're very different in their communication than uh, other people in Southeast Asia. Um, you really found them rude, that's interesting. I don't, I'm sorry you had that experience because I had a wonderful experience. I thought the people of Laos are beautiful and very friendly, very laid back. It's a very, very pulled back uh, uh, culture, uh, you know, and they, they don't get excited and they don't get down. Uh, and so people kind of have a hard time reading that, but I, I really found the uh, Lao people just wonderful and a, a really friendly culture, but very different than Vietnam or Cambodia or Thailand. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I didn't, never felt that they were rude. Um, <laughs> I never felt that Lao, Laotians were rude. 
um, I could just tell that they're very reserved and they don't they they're not as outgoing as other people but they're very very friendly very warm very warm people but Thai people are are very friendly and I'm very impressed with the uh, um, the hospitality here and uh, I mean everywhere you go even in the modern shops people still why to you they still put their hands up and thank you uh, fo and with folded hands even in uh, a modern supermarket that I just came from so I'm very impressed with the the Thai culture and hospitality even in such a changing world and a modern world Uh, my scopes, uh, well, scopes are all about travel in East Asia. Yes, I travel all over East Asia and Southeast Asia. I was in India in uh, uh, November, December for one month. And before that, I was in Nepal for one month. And I've been in Taiwan the last uh, three months. Uh, so I, I'm in Asia all the time. I live in Asia and travel throughout Asia. So um, I'm here in Thailand right now, but then I'll go back to Taiwan for a bit. And then I will start plotting out where my next stops are going to be. Probably some Indonesia uh, spots that I haven't been to, like Sumatra and Sulawesi. I'll probably go to, the, to those islands. will be something on my uh, itinerary this year. So thank you so much for joining me. I will come back to you again from Bangkok, Thailand. It's an amazing city. I'm so happy to share. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Corpacan, Corpacan. See you soon. Thank you. Bless you. Good night from Bangkok.